Systems Engineering program is an innovative educational booster program at Delft University of Technology. What is systems engineering? It is an interdisciplinary field between physics, engineering and management that focuses on designing and building complex systems. They can be machines, they can be sensors, they can be devices, instruments, rockets to take us to the moon and to Mars. The systems engineering program welcomes curious and talented master students who are ready to work together with us to solve a challenging industrial problem, to think creatively and innovatively, to develop entrepreneurial skills and work together in teams, both with peer students and in the same time with researchers and engineers from companies. Systems Engineering program has two parts. A system engineering course meant for master students to get familiar with the systems engineering tools and methodology. And the second exciting part, we work together with companies to solve a systems engineering challenge. To have such a group of enthusiastic students, that's always inspiring. We have addressed this subject a couple of times with internal ASML people. And then, yeah, they are experienced, but they are not as fresh and, 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 and modernly looking at the subject as the students just did. So I'm excited. What I learned in those first days is that while working at the TU Delft, I had courses on optics, on mechanics, on any of those aspects. But there was hardly a course that combined all of them. And I learned that the hard way in my first year at TNO. And I remember that I was asked to write a small article for the journal of the TU Delft and it was about the lack of system engineering education. And now I'm happy to stand here and talk about system engineering, which I learned in practice while working at ASML. What I think is really great is that there is finally a good course on system engineering. I remember when I was uh, starting in my first job, I learned a lot at the TU Delft but they were all independent pieces of the physics puzzle. And I never learned to build the full puzzle using system engineering. I only did so while working. Now, many years later, I see that it's really part of the curriculum now. And I think that's a wonderful step forward, making the people education at the TU Delft the much higher level and much better applicable for the things that we are addressing. Because never, never the solution comes from just one piece of the puzzle. It's always the combination and system engineering is the method to bring those jigsaw puzzle elements together. And that's great. Just to give you an example of what you can do, we work here to design and build prototypes for the 24-7 energy system at the future Green Village. The future lithography machine for ASML, we work together with Philips to develop the future medical instruments. And we work with small companies, with large companies. We contribute to the energy transition and we design the future quantum computer. I have been a student assistant for the system engineering course as well. And uh, I was gladly recommending to do this course to these students as well. Here I was working in a multidisciplinary team, which was especially interesting because these guys actually think in a different way and to work together with them, oh, there you learn a lot, there you learn a lot. It's, it's a good way to broaden your perspective, especially on real world applications. You can dive into the depth, uh, it all depends on the project. So uh, I would encourage people when doing this project to really closely look into the specific subject and what, what would you like to get from it. I think it's especially in this early stage, the course is flexible enough to accompany most of the wishes a student has. So we worked on energy management system, tries to look at how can we use energy more efficient. So there's a certain amount of energy being generated by, for example, photovoltaics, but they don't work in the night and you still need electricity in the night. So we need a way to store that energy uh, somewhere and then use it when, uh, when the energy is needed. And uh, that's what we look into. I think the, one of the main things we learned is the, 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 the real world is way more complicated than uh, uh, how we learn it in our physics major. To me, it was a quite a liberating experience because, you know, I'm an electrical engineering who was doing this project in an applied physics field of point of view. And in the past 10 weeks, I literally learned a lot from the whole applied physics point of view. I even got to work with one of the biggest MNCs in the world, like ASML. Did not learn in the, like, not only in the academic point of view, but in the organizational point of view, as in like how to work with other team members, how to work with other stakeholders, like external people coming from other companies like ASML. My final piece of advice for future students would be to stay open-minded and really allow yourself to think out of the box. 
you shouldn't come up into the systems engineering class with a lot of preconceptions of which kind of design ideas would work the best, but rather really be open-minded and consider all the options that are out there, because only then you can finally end up with a product that kind of collects all the best options. Well, my expectations of working together with the company in September are mainly revolving around finally applying all this theoretical knowledge that I acquired so far and putting it into work. So really get it going and design a thing and see it in the real world. And I think that's what I've been missing so far also from the systems engineering class because that one is mainly about theory and presentation skills and so on. I would definitely recommend this class. I think uh, it really favors a certain set of skills that you don't really use too much during your bachelor's or master's. So previous education for me, um, this was kind of really out of it while still using a lot of the things that I learned before. And I can really recommend it if you want to experience something new that you haven't had done before in your career, in your education program. And I learned a lot of different people skills, especially presentation skills, learn how to structure work, how to approach a more complex problem. And it was not so much about solving uh, some integral, which I enjoyed personally. It was a very refreshing, refreshing situation. Yes. Dear students, we welcome you to our program. Are you ready? Let's get started, let's start now.